Hey guys, I'm Lan with 2ProBeats and today I want to talk to you about a few of the reasons that made me upgrade from Studio One version 4 to the newly released version 5. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, let's get right into it. So for a couple of versions, Studio One focused more on the production side of things, improving on how you produce music, how you can use Studio One for live performance with the new version. But for me as a mixing engineer, the mixing features, the mastering features got a bit better every single time and that's why I've upgraded from Studio One version 1 to Studio One version 5 over the years. Today I want to show you just a few of the things that made me upgrade from version 4 to version 5. The number one feature for that is the mix scenes. You can find that in the mix console and you have this show scenes. This is basically made for me. This is the way that I work. I have a video on how I work with drafts. In Studio One version 4 I had to save new version. When I wanted to go back, I had to restore the version. You can see that I have all the versions here. And that takes a bit of time. That's not instant. And one of the downsides of using that technique, it's really difficult to bring, let's say, something that you like from draft 8 to draft 3. With the new mixings, everything got so much smoother, so much better. And I want to show you this feature and how I use it. Let's say that this is a fresh mix, just starting out. I usually start with zero and now I have my fresh start right here. Let's say that I've started to work on the mix. I made volume changes, plugin changes, something like this. And now I think that I'm ready to save a new draft. Maybe this is the one that I'm sending over to the client. And now I have that right there. I can go back to draft zero, just like that. I can go back to draft one. And if we take a look in this draft one, we have the plugin changes. And then in draft zero, we don't have it. And I tend to save drafts or mix scenes every single time that I make revisions. I usually send a mix draft over to the client. The client sends his notes. I make the changes and I want to keep both versions before and after the changes because sometimes the changes requested don't improve on the mix. So I have to go back with this new feature is really easy. And this is probably the main reason why I've upgraded to Studio One version 5. This is saving me so much time and even if it was just this small feature, I would have upgraded because it's my workflow and this is how I work. And I love the implementation. You have a lot of options when it comes to recall. You can recall the volume panning. Now let's move to a new one. If you are a Pro Tools user, you already have this one, clip gain envelope. With this, you can just adjust the gain of the audio. Before this, I was using a macro just to adjust things like breaths, noise, but that was a bit messy because it made cuts, fades. Let's say that it wasn't the best option for the job. With the clip gain envelope, we can do things like de making the kick and the 808 fit better in the mix by just adjusting the envelope of the 808. I have a video on that, doing it with volume automation, you can check that out. But let me show you how I use it on vocals, for example, how I use it to DS. This is a track from Sanito, it's called Superstars, you can check it out. Let's say that this sibilance right here is a bit too much, you can just select the range and adjust the gain and the nice thing about it is that you can be really surgical with it you can just adjust it however you want you can always see the changes reflected into the waveform which is pretty nice you can also use the transform tool So you have lots of controls over S's, breaths, noise, transients and other things that can be manipulated with envelopes. So 
as you can hear we have an instant DSR, a really nice tool for mixing engineers. So this is the second reason why I've upgraded. There are quite a few other small things that they've improved. For example, the interface and the sound quality of the stock plugins. Some got a total redesign like the analog delay. And they've also included the state space technology, which is basically emulating vintage gear. The limiter got improved. This is limiter version 2. So all plugin got some sort of improvements, either visual or even sound wise pro EQ. Two, I like the interface a bit better. You have the option to hide the bands, the option to change the, the range. A lot of improvements if you are using stock plugins. A really good place where you can start your mixes. And I really appreciate this update because I think stock plugins are really underrated. And I think if the stock plugins are a bit more appealing when it comes to sound, when it comes to visual, then more people will use it and not go into developing a plugin addiction, buying plugins plugins every single week. Another small but really useful feature is now the ability to input the send level without messing with this slider here. It doesn't look good, the functionality is not that great but now you have the option to just input the value. Now another feature that's pretty big when it comes to mixing is the ability to copy entire channels. For example here I have two of the same vocal leads, I want the same processing. With Studio One version 4 you had the option to drag the inserts but no option to drag the sends. You had to drag them one by one and that's time consuming. With version 5 you have copy paste like that. Now we have the plugins, the inserts and the sends copied and pasted. And this feature is really useful for me when linked with the mixins because let's say I like the sound of a lead vocal from draft one, but I like the ad lib sound from another draft. I can just go to that draft, copy it. paste it. Now we have the exact sound from the other draft. This is a really basic copy and paste feature that's just amazing for me. And I think these are the most obvious reasons why I've upgraded to Studio One version 5. I think version 5 is a bit more snappier than version 4. They've made some improvements uh, behind the scenes. Other than that for me Studio One version 5 is exactly the same as version 4. Now I have mix scenes clip gain and the ability to copy and paste, ability to input the value on the sends. And in my opinion, even though they've made big improvements for producers, for live performance, I think that the small features aimed to the mixing engineers are really nice and worth the, the upgrade. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, hit the like button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and see you guys really, really soon. Cheers.